Hello, my name is Alessa. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, we post a new video every week. We do it every Friday. My goal is to help you understand and speak English fluently. Today we will speak about passive voice. Passive voice. And the window was broken. The car was stolen. The house was sold. Why do we use passive voice? We use the passive voice when the person who performs the action is not known, not important, or we don't want to mention him or her. All the tickets were sold out. In this sentence, we have no information about who did it, and it's not important. The package was delivered. We don't know who did it. What is important to us is that the package was delivered. Before speaking about the passive voice in detail, I want to clarify what the active voice is. Active voice. The active voice is the normal voice in an English sentence. I play the piano. He drives a car. We speak English. In all these sentences, we have a person who creates an action. Okay, let's look at the model at a sentence with the active voice. The boy broke the window. The boy is the subject. Broke is the verb. The window is the object. In an active sentence, the subject performs the action of the verb. The subject is an agent or a doer. The fisherman caught some fish. In this sentence, the fisherman is an agent and he performs an action. Passive voice. The window is broken by the boy. The window is the object. Is broken is the verb. The boy is the subject. In the passive voice, the object goes to the first place. And the subject is after the verb. And sometimes we can use the preposition by to show who or what is performing an action. How to form passive voice. Passive. B plus past participle. What is past participle? Well, it is a verb. When you study the list of irregular verbs, you try to memorize three forms of the irregular verbs. For example, see, saw, seen. Seen is past participle. For regular verbs, past participle is the verb with the ending ed. Play, played. Played is past participle. If you need to memorize the irregular verbs, you just click that link and watch my videos about irregular verbs. I should say that sentences with the active voice is much more popular, but in some cases it's much better to use the passive voice instead of active. Let's look at more examples. The food was delivered. This sentence is in the passive voice. It's not important for us who did it. We are happy that the food is delivered. When you have a choice what to choose, the passive voice or the active voice, you should understand what you want to emphasize. Let me give you this example. The money was donated to the hospital. Or, I donated some money to the hospital. In these two sentences, the difference is clear. You see, the money was donated, you emphasize the money. I donated some money, you emphasize that I or somebody did it. The president was elected. This sentence sounds in the passive voice very natural. 
Some passive voice verbs have no active equivalent. Let's look at this sentence. I was born in June. There is another way to say this sentence. My mother gave birth to me in June. But it sounds weird. Some verbs can only be used in the active voice. The celebration happened yesterday. These verbs are rise, happen, occur, arise, fall, exist, depend on, consist of, result from. Sometimes a sentence with the passive voice sounds more polite, not so obvious or direct. You are requested to keep quiet. Smoking is not allowed. Passive voice simple present passive simple present am is are plus past participle a mouse is caught by a cat the animals are fed by the zookeeper tigers are hunted by poachers passive voice Simple past was were plus past participle. The Eiffel Tower was built in eighteen eighty seven. These pyramids were built in ancient Egypt. Let's practice the passive voice together. You will see a sentence with some blanks and try to make a sentence in the passive voice. And don't forget about the verb to be plus past participle. The light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison. Basketball was first played in the USA. An essay was written by a student. Now, the next practice will be a little bit different. You will try to change the sentence in the active voice into the passive voice. Active voice. James Cook discovered Australia. James Cook is the subject. Discovered is the verb. Australia is the object. Passive voice. Australia was discovered by James Cook. Australia is the object. Was discovered is the verb. James Cook is the subject. Steve Jobs invented the first iPhone. The first iPhone was invented by Steve Jobs. The judge made the decision. The decision was made by the judge. Picasso painted that picture. That picture was painted by Picasso. Yale accepted my cousin. My cousin was accepted by Yale. The passive voice tends to be used more frequently in writing than in speaking. And it is especially common in reporting and technical or scientific writing. The passive voice can be a way for journalists to avoid making accusations. 
The passive voice can be used not only in the simple forms. We can use it for perfect or progressive forms as well. The new video has been published. The video is being watched. In this video, I wanted to give you just the whole idea what the passive voice is and how to use it. And this video is recommended for beginners and low intermediate levels. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and like buttons. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, where we post something new every day. And hope to see you soon.